Okay, uh, this is Bishop Leola Jolly. Uh, we're having a meeting for the Jolly Family and Friends events. And we would, um, we would like to thank the people that's showing up. Um, and we would also like to thank the ones that called in and let me know that they wouldn't be able to attend. We'll keep you in our prayers. Uh, the agenda is as follows. We, uh, the attendance, opening prayer, new business, old business, other, and remarks, and then we will adjourn this meeting. The meeting is now open. Uh, we will have opening prayer given by Bishop Leola Jolly, and we are in the book of John. We're going to read John the... Let's see. Okay, let's look at, um, I have Acts over here, Acts 15 and 17. No, Acts 7, 2nd and the uh, 17th verse. Uh, that's where the Spirit has led me. It says, And it shall pass, come to pass, in the last days with Yahweh, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons, and your daughters shall prophesy, and the young men shall see visions, and the old men shall dream, dream. What we're trying to do, we're trying to bring families and friends together. You know, this pandemic really took a big bite out of a lot of people. And most of the time, what people were doing, they were trying to find something to do. You know, a lot of us we painted pictures you know we watch our famous painter bob ross well, i mean we did things like that but some of us we came up with creative ideas of bringing families together and doing something that you can show like uh the youth in your family you know like we had at the last event we had a jolly family crescent contest where we gave away uh, twenty dollar gift certificates for the youth, and I think it was a fifty dollar gift certificate given away too. But I'm just saying is that the youth showed up, they brought their artwork in, and um, we it, we had first place, second place, and third place. We also had a talent show, and we also gave a gift certificate to the ones that was in the talent show. So we had a beautiful time there. You know, we uh, we took pictures, uh, Jamila. Uh, prophetess Jamila, she did videotapes. I mean, she's excellent with, with the work that she does. She's really good at what she does. She even have written a book. So we were putting things together last uh, two years ago. We didn't do anything in 22 because I, I, you know, I, I, I was sick. That's why we didn't do anything in 22. So what we're doing now, we're trying to pull our family together. We want to have at this event, we want this event to be a little bit different than the other event. We want to have a baseball contest. And I'm going to put this out here on Facebook when I get a chance to for the Jolly family and friends so they can know what we're doing. We want to have a, um, a baseball team and we want to have the Jolly men against the Jolly youth. And I thought that would really be nice. And we also thought about having... Um, uh, a speed dating, you know, among the family and friends to participate in that. We talked about having a baby contest, you know, or a children contest where they can race each other. Uh, we talked about things like that. And um, this event is going to be a lot different. Now, the events before, when I've done the events in 2014 and 2015, all the way up, um, we did... Um, uh, we did free school supply drives. We gave away free school supplies out the bank. And I think the bank that we used was First Merit Bank. I, I'm for sure it was First Merit, but they turned it to Huntington Bank. But they allowed us, and they lobby, and we was able to pass out school supplies to their customers that had children. And they also signed the sign-in sheet stating that they had got supplies. You know, the business people in the community, they donated you know, money to help out with getting the uh, building. We had uh, 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 the pizza place. They donated, pe donated pizza, you know, to the event. We had people to come in, uh, like 
Kisha, Mrs. Prophetess Kisha. She did the beautiful decoration. We also had uh, Prophetess Marquita. She did, um, she did the donations and she helped us out a whole lot. And we just want to do a shout out to say thank you for helping us. We really appreciate it. So we did a lot of things, you know, and people did help. We had uh, Professor uh, Emmett Jolly to do the COVID-19 task force. He did a workshop. And we also had uh, Superintendent Donald Jolly that lives out in Warrensville. We had, I mean, he, uh, he sponsored uh, a child, you know, that didn't have art supplies, you know, and we sent that money to that parent in a cash app. So that's what we did last year. Now this year, as far as new business goes, we're calling funders this year. That's what we're doing this year. We're doing approach letters and we're calling funders this year. And so far, we have a couple of funders that has responded back to us. And we have uh, one that we, uh, we'll be meeting with, you know, Monday. So we are moving right along. And basically what, what we have been doing, uh, we have books on, uh, and we took uh, seminars, we did workshops, we did a lot of stuff to get us where we at today. Most of the people that work for Yahweh Chapel of Truth, they are volunteers. You know, once we get up and running, you know, then uh, we'll be trying to get them into different places because we want to do the after school program. You know, we, 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 we want to do that. That's very important to us. And we would like to do it remotely, you know, or go into the schools and uh, maybe meet with the child in the school. And then from the school, we are get permission ships from the parents and we'll do online, you know, assistance with the children to help them with their homework and everything. Uh, each student will get one hour with each uh, person that's working remotely to help them with their math or their reading. So they can split it up 15 minutes here or 15 minutes there and 15 minutes there. It's up to them if they want to split it up. So um, right now we get ready to do the fundraiser. Um, this fundraiser is a cookbook fun, uh, fundraiser. If you have any recipes or any recipes that you would like to share, um, I would like for you to share them with me in my inbox. Please put them in my inbox. I would greatly appreciate that if you put it in my inbox. And if you do that, that would be very nice. <laughs> From there, that was the, um, the new business. The old business is that... Um, we would like for their family members, you know, uh, to meet us at the park. And we have an uh, original Jolly Family reunion. A lot of people ask me why did I call it that. <clears throat> I called it that for various reasons. The original Jolly Family reunion started with, um, you know, the old Jollies. And they would meet at a park, you know. And a whole family would come out there and they would just you know, probably play games with the kids. It, it was always something that they was doing. It was mostly baseball that they played. And we, um, you know, when I started doing it, I started doing little programs with it, you know, where people could sing or read poetry. And um, we just want to bring back where we, where the foundation started from. We also want to give the kids a brief history about, you know, um, who they are and their you know, and what line of the lineage they they come from, you know, and we want them to know about uh, King Henry the Seventh, and we want them to know about different things that happen on this journey over here to the United States. So we had um, Jolly Family Crescent contest where you would come up with ideas of what did you see on your way over to America? Uh, did you see a boat? Did you see Native Americans? Did you see a horse? Did you see corn? Did you see an apple tree? And we wanted them to put these symbols on the Jolly Family Crescent Contest. That was more like a cultural event. Right now, when we do go into the, um, the schools or wherever that we go, we would like to uh, work with uh, drug-free activities with the children. And we also like to pass out materials. We like to have a drug-free fair. We would like to have a drug-free party for the children. We want the children to be aware of the intervention programs that they have out here to help them with their life, especially if they stay in a drug-infested community. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time. 
Now, the other thing that we talked about was the other thing was for the family table. The family table that I'm asking people, if you don't mind, could you please bring a plate just to put on the table because we're going to try to have uh, enough food on the table that we can feed everybody. So whatever that you bring, if you don't mind, you know, could you uh, inbox me and just let me know what you're bringing so I can uh, document it down on a piece of paper. We don't want everybody bringing the same thing. And that would be nice. Um, I'm getting in contact with some of the men in the family. I haven't done it yet. I'm sort of like been trying to deal with these funders. But I will be getting in contact with the men in the family. So I want you all to respect, expect a call from me because you will be getting a call very soon. And um, also, um, the closing remarks is that I would just like to uh, send a shout out, you know, to uh, Prophetess Jamila. She has been so helpful. You know, she really has. Uh, she has done so much, you know, for Yahweh Chapel of Truth. That's why we made her our director. Because she has her heart into saving the children, saving the at-risk youth, you know. And she's a counselor. She's a woman of God. And we are so grateful to have her. We also have uh, Leonetta Jolly, Prophetess Leonetta. And we enjoy having her on board with us. We appreciate it. And uh, she's gonna. She's just our IT tech. You know, she's our IT tech. And by her being our, our IT tech... You know, whenever we have IT problems, guess who we go to? We go to Prophetess Leonetta, and she always comes through. And she's a remote control volunteer, along with Prophetess Jamila is a remote control volunteer. We also have uh, Prophetess Doris, and we also have Prophetess Vanessa. And um, I just can't tell you all the Prophetess names that we have because it, it's a lot of them. And, but these are the ones that stands out. They stand out a whole lot. So I'd like to take out the time to say thank you for taking out time to listen uh, to me today and uh, keep us in your prayers. If you would like to donate to the Jolly Family a Friends event, the original Jollies, please cash at me at cash app Leola Jolly. I would appreciate it. That would help us a lot. Uh, if you have... Uh, uh, wish to give me a call, you can reach me at area code 2 216 uh, I will be including um, Jamila's uh, phone number if she let me know. I don't want to put her number out there like that. But we will have flowers with her with her, um, with her her um, cash app tag on it. So you can send uh, her contributions to help out with this event that we have them for family and friends events. It's like a fest. And we just want the friends, you know, of us, you know, all our friends, we would like for you to join us in into a uh, original family, Jolly Family reunion, along with a family fest of friends that's coming that's uh, to support the event that we are spotlighting our youth. Thank you for your time and have a blessed day.